In this video, I'll show you 5 easy ways to remove background using Photoshop. Some of these tools are basic, but I'll also include some that are underrated but still beginners friendly. So enough talking, let's start the video. Yo, what is good guys? It's your boy Dixon from Twitter Designs. Jumping straight into it, the first Photoshop tool that you can use to remove background is the Quick Action tool, Select Subject. Now, this tool works best if the 41 to crop has a distinct separation between the foreground and the background. Uh, for example, this photo of the Supreme Leader, you can see the background is plain and clear enough that you can see the outline of the figure that you want to crop. So what you do, you just unlock the layer and then just go to this quick actions panel here, click on select subject and it'll automatically trace the outline of the figure for you. Now there'll always be some flaws because it is AI generated, but in this case, it actually looks pretty good. Um, if you do see some flaws they want to fix, just use the lasso tool and then select the part that the AI missed. Next, just right click on a photo and then click on select and mask and then just copy the exact settings and hit OK. Now this will refine the edges of the object that you crop, whereas by just adding a mask layer, it will end up with pixelated edges all around. The downside of this tool is that it only works with photos like this. If you're trying to crop a person or an object from a busy background like this photo, the AI will do a terrible job which is why most designers will always prefer using the pen tool. Just hit on this icon here, make sure path is selected, and then create a starting point by clicking on the image. For example, if you were to crop the head out, then you just create an outline here, and while holding on to the left click, you just drag it left and right to match the outline of this object. Then you just keep on adding points until it goes back to the starting point. Downside of this tool is that the process actually takes a very long time, but I do have a method that can speed it up. You can create a starting point just like before and instead of clicking and dragging each point one by one, you just go around it like this and then you add the points in between one by one like this and while holding on to the command key, you can drag it to the placement that you want. I find this method speeds up the process a little so you can test it out if you want. Once that's done, just right click, make selection and make sure the feather is zero and then anti-alias is ticked, new selection and OK. Then go to select, select and mask, same thing with the settings and OK. The next tool is the quick selection tool which is under the same category as the very famous magic wand tool. Now, I always prefer using this than the magic wand tool because it selects the objects inside the photo pretty accurately. For example, if we were to select the hat, let's just click on it and then it will automatically trace the outline. Of course, it isn't always perfect but you can deselect it by option click on the areas that you don't want. And then same steps, just right click, select and mask and OK. Before we move on, a quick word from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato Elements is the ultimate toolbox for ice graphic designers. Offering more than 50 million assets, you can get pretty much everything you need for your projects, such as this, 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 and even this. I've been using Envato Elements for almost two years now and it's proven to improve my designs than before. You can simply go to the search bar, type in what you need, and you can sort the results based on orientation or even by colors. My favorite from the site is the 3D Assets Library. For someone like me who don't use any 3D software, this really helps my workflow. And what's even better is you can get the angle you like and then download it as PNG file with already transparent background. With Envato Elements, you get unlimited downloads with only one subscription. So click the link below now to get 50% off on annual subscription giving you full access for just $16.50 per month. Now let's get back to the video. Now the fourth tool is the background eraser tool. This works especially well when you're trying to remove background from fizzy hair or just hair in general. Um, using this photo, for example, you can command J to create a copy of it. Let me add a black background so you guys can see better. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to do this obviously. Um, and then just right click on the eraser tool and then select background eraser tool. Make sure the sampling setting is selected, the one in the middle discontiguous for the limits and then tolerance 35% 
and then just click on the color that you want to get rid of don't let go and then just keep on going like this you can see that it's already working but there are areas that when removed like this part right here to fix that you just gotta let go of the click and then click on it again to clean it up some more now this looks pretty good if i turn off the background you see that it is transparent now so guys, the last tool is the magnetic lasso tool. I would say it is the most underrated one out of the list. It's under the same category as the lasso tool. So just right click and then select magnetic lasso tool. For example, if you wanted to crop these sunglasses out, you can create a starting point here and then just hover your mouse around it and it will automatically trace it for you. Now this works best if you don't have a steady hand for the OG lasso tool. This one will help you tremendously. Once it is selected, just right click and then select that mask and OK. There you go guys, these are the 5 tools that you can use to remove background in Photoshop. Hope you can utilize it in your work from now on. I blow weekly so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on my videos. Follow me on my socials for more. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.